747. the RER, which did not accept the traveler's check, but as long as it's a credit card where they get less money. <laughs> no, and it's not guaranteed because you might have crummy credit. Okay, today's a different day. We're going to have a good time today. So later we'll talk to you, talk to you about our, our first day. This is our second day. First day going into Paris. I don't waste your thing. You haven't yeah. got an extra battery. All right. Arc de Why the they noise do that? You hear, I don't know. The noise you hear is the. Now, this is the way you march through the arm. Temperature in the mid to upper 70s. Nice day. We're at an area called the Opera House. There's the Oblique. American Embassy is over there somewhere. Beautiful day in Paris. That's the Garden Les Jardins. 
I think Mouse said. Paris Bistro. This is Al. This grandma. This Nana. The opera. Let's go across over here by the light, guys. The financial district or some kind of financial district to cash your money. We're trying to find the bus to the Eiffel Tower. Where did Valerie go? Right there, yeah. Right she? there. Cross the road right there. Why is she going there? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Oh, hello. Now I take a picture of us. Oh, there's a picture. Grandma says to the top. Here we are. The Eiffel Tower. Mount Montre and uh, Sakane Q. Uh, where was Valerie? Oh, oh, I think that's the loop down there. Jeez. South out of Paris. Looking south out of Paris, Eiffel Tower. There's some kind of a soccer game going on down there.
Now heading south. About three o'clock in the afternoon. Sightseeing boat. Okay, now looking now looking west. Okay, looking. Hello, people. The Eiffel Tower. Hey, Are you getting it all the way around? Oh, yeah, I'm trying. Yep. <laughs> I feel like uh, more boring date than you would wh believe. Where is? Um, <laughs> no, it's not. It's the Eiffel Tower, I guess. Okay, where is? Uh, That's the Trocadero. The what? People are swimming in those in those uh, things. You see? Oh yeah. People swimming in the fountains. Now, where is? Uh, where we? Where the? I see that. Not now. Not now. Where are we looking? We're looking, uh, we're looking uh, southeast. southeast. And we're in the second second floor of the Eiffel Tower still. Okay. Hey, Val. Oh. I'm going slow. Oh, it's just okay. Hey, girl. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Okay. Right, go what direction? North. Northeast. No, I can't. Let's see. Here we are in the Eiffel Tower, looking northeast from the Eiffel Tower. I'll just take a panoramic view. Okay, over there is the Arc de Triomphe. We were there this morning. We had lunch somewhere over there. Now we're over here in the. Okay, now this is a much better view. There's Mount Mont. There's uh, Sacre Coeur. There's Sacre Coeur, Mark. On, on the mountain. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. that's, that's Sacre Coeur. And then Notre Dame. Now the Louvre is over here somewhere, Barry tells me, right over there. See those orange windows? Okay, that's that's the Louvre. Now beyond that, let's see. I can remember this. Cathedral's to your right. Cathedral's to my right, yes, because way. Yeah, it's okay. There's the there's the cathedral right there. Cathedral of Notre Dame is right there. I don't know what that building is. This now right now I'm looking east. Away from uh, Paris. Absolutely beautiful day in Paris. It's got to be in the mid 70s to high 70s. Who's No, I didn't mean. The wind is starting to pick up. You see the gardens down there, right? You see all the trees? Yeah. Those are the Tuileries. And it goes into the Louvre. You can see the Louvre, yeah. So the Louvre is that long building? Yeah. Behind, behind the, on the other side of the garden. Okay, that's the Louvre down there. The construction is over there. Is that down there is the Louvre. So the Louvre is on the west. Really it's, it's, on the, it's on the left bank. Okay, yeah, and that's the left bank. This is the right bank. We're on the right bank. I think bank. I was on the left bank. Because I remember reading it. I think the Louvre is on the, on the left bank. I think we're on the right bank. What? Didn't know that. Yeah, you got oh, Frank, a houseboat with a pool on it. Here comes a tour boat going up the river. Well, we could not have picked a nicer day to tour Paris, could we? Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, high, is ideal. high 70s, perfect weather. We 
Smack in the middle of the pitch, the dark building. And I can definitely eat at the uh, wiring. Looking to the north. Heading to the west now, along the Seine River. Big tour boat coming up. Perfect day. Perfect day. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> because right now, I lost my eyepiece. You can't see? Well, I can see, except that it's all blurry. You lost like the whole thing. I lost like this part here. You're taping. I know I'm taping, and I don't know if it's uh, focusing as far as I can see. This poor guy, Valerie, this is the South River, the Seine, and we're looking south. This is the Rive Gauche. Look around, can't see much south of Paris, but it's kind of interesting. It's a big city. Way day down. Hang on. It's a game. Play by play action. It's a game. Pretty far. Pretty far down. East. Paris. You can see Trocadero down there, and there are people swimming in the fountains. There. And beyond that, like way, way over there. You can see the Grand Arche de France. Mitterrand built that, I think, 90 or 92. No, it's not it. It's over there. Let's see the big thing? The arc there. And that's in modern Paris. And it's in a line with the Champs Elysees. Everything's in a line. And if you look straight down, we've got the river. Lots of the river. Super bit. In Paris. We were there this morning. As you can see, it's still pretty far away as we back up a little bit. From where we are. And you can see how close the after is to the river. Right there, we're next to the river. We keep on going. Look down, that's the Champs Elysees. Looking down the Champs Elysees. At night, at night. We're gonna do the boat ride, Bateau Mouche tonight. That's the Sacre Coeur where Dad and I were yesterday. We have to go up to Sacre Coeur. Hospital, where the soldiers, the war veterans can live. And you can see the gold bridge there in the picture. It's a really pretty bridge. As you look up, you'll see over there, Notre Dame. Church. And as you look down the river, you're starting to look at the Louvre. The Louvre. Now, right there is the Louvre. Right there in that picture. See that? And those are the Garden of Tuileries. So you can see all the sights of Paris right here. Okay, there's the Statue of Liberty. Gift from France. It's over there on the third bridge. Really? I hope this is focused. It's not focused in my eye, please. But it's probably here they are coming across the bridge. Eiffel Tower in the background. This is we're crossing the Seine. It's Kurt over there. There they are. La Gay Paris. La Gay Parisien. Bonjour. Come over to. Come over to. Yes, we oui, oui. Yeah, I did. Going over here to the train station. Here's the Seine over here. And we're over here.
over here having a good time. But yeah, I am. I'm gonna. Okay. Oh, we got it all. We were way up there at the top. Came all the way down. Here they are. Big guns.
This is the Cathedral of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, pardon me. Uh, the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. to see us go. We knocked over two stanchions in there, no damage, but lots of noise. I'm so sorry, so glad to see us go. Hey, Terry. In front of the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Okay, they're trying to figure out the water closet or the bathroom. Now we're trying to figure oh, out. Oh no! This is just in my pants. Oh, I just got it. I'm going to wipe it on you. How do you work this thing? Yeah, you work that on the water. Okay, I'll know. Put the left one down. Now, why, why is it flicking? Here yeah, they're all talking about how you do this, how you do that. <laughs> okay, I uh mom and I go back in the bathroom. Can't hear anything. Let's try that again. Did you have a couple of super bad ones? And you had to go so bad and it smells so terrible. These are really nice and good. Oh, they are? It's in Nana. It's in Nana. Here you go, Kurt. Kurt. Can you just pause it? Can you see? Oh. That's yeah, nice to see. Can you see? 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 Up on a little balcony. They're up on a little balcony in a French cafe. Bistro. Up here, a little bistro.
No matter what you think, it's nothing. He's filming the pigeon poop things. Those are, those are to keep the pigeons off. The pigeon poop things. The pigeon poop is good. Pigeon hair. Ah, bonjour. Très bien. No more wine. <laughs> okay, Très bien. Enough. Très bien. One bottle and a cure. Très bien. Thank you. Bon, bonjour. Merci. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merci. Okay. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Haven't you uh, Saint Germain? Saint Germain. Saint Germain? Saint Germain. Saint Germain? Saint Germain. Saint Germain. Too much wine. Saint Germain. Everybody, look at this. This is great viewing. Everybody got everybody's butts. Look at this. This is pretty good, huh? Here he is. Walking tour of everybody's butts through Paris. We had, we had way too much wine. Now we're going on a boat trip. You probably viewed this tape after I browned going into La Seine, or is it Le Seine, or is it Le Seine? I don't know. About 8:30 now. Did I get that right? It's blurry on my thing, but I can't really. Uh, where is it? Whoa! Too much wine. There it is. There it is. There it is. There he is. What's that? What's the what's the problem? Here comes the crew coming down the umpteenth number of steps. Here they are coming down the umpteenth number of steps. I think Mom Zimmer is having a little bit of a problem with her. Well, we don't have many more steps today. We're going to go on a bateau, Le Bateau. You want to go? Yeah. All right, Val. Valerie? Valerie. I'm going to negotiate the price. Probably about eight, eight or nine bucks a piece. So we're going to the bateau. Here it is. Believe it or not, it's 9.07 at night. See? 9.07 at night. And the sun is just barely going down. So the sun stays up here about 10, about, till about 10 o'clock. And comes up about 2 a.m. They don't have nighttime here in Paris in the summertime. So we're going down there, go for a one hour boat ride. Here Understood. This bridge was intended to symbolize the alliance between the French Republic and the story Swiss shore during the 1890s. Ecco, adesso si arriva il ponte di Alessandro III che commemora i rapporti fra russi e francesi, portando mente un suo zare e vedete che è fatto in bronzo e pietra dal 1900. Okay, it's the beginning of the Louvre in Paris. la Maison Blanche et la Maison en briques, vous pourrez voir la plus petite maison de Paris, actuellement aménagée en galerie d'art. In a few minutes, on your right, next to the White House and the Brick House, you can spot the smallest house in Paris. It has been transferred into an art gallery. Alors, sur la vostra destra, fra la Casa Bianca et quella qui se trouve fatta di mattoni rossi, vedete la Casa... Le Pont-Neuf, il a été inauguré en 1604 par Henri IV, 
et les têtes qui le décorent sont des caricatures de l'entourage du roi. Vous allez le voir quand on sera un petit peu plus près. Hein. Super 9, construit par Henri IV. En 1604, cette bridge est à donner. Non, je suis là. Je suis Notre croisière se termine, nous espérons que vous l'avez trouvé agréable et nous vous souhaitons un très bon séjour à Paris. Je vais vous demander de rester encore assis quelques instants s'il vous plaît. We finished our work on course, I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you to spend nice days in Paris. Thank you. So, are we having fun yet? <laughs> oh well. Here we are. Believe it or not, I gotta get in the light for this. I wanna ride a motorcycle. It's still, it's still. <laughs> I'll ride with you, okay. Grandma. Okay. I'll ride a motorcycle. We still Come see on. it. Yes, we are. Whatever. There it is. 10:32 at night. I'll tell you something. Jeanette's on the merry-go-round. Valerie's getting on the merry-go-round. Grandma is pass on. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get you. It's, I know it's running. I don't have to wait. I got plenty of film. Mom's on the merry-go-round. Kurt, Terry, and Erica are on the merry-go-round. In other words, we have totally lost it at this point in time. You know? We have had lunch on cafes in, in window or terrace dining room. Okay, you think kids ride these? <laughs> Only kids that have lost their minds ride these things. And they're all up there. We've truly lost them. Huh? Okay, let's see now. It's now, as you can see, it is 10.30, 10.36 at night. 10.36 at night. And here we go. Because here they are getting ready to begin. 
and you would think there was no other attractions in Paris, but look what's behind me. Of course, the Eiffel Tower is in the western end of Paris. I always thought it was northeast, but it's in the western end. It's 10, 10.38, barely getting dark, and we're still out here. Of course, Freddie has to take the picture, so Freddie can't go on the marriage or anyone. So I gotta go and take the picture here, but I think with all the wine in me, I would fall right off the horse. Whoa, here we go. I gotta get him coming around here. Because I've got so much wine in me that I don't think it would be safe for me to be on the marriage ground. In fact, I'm the only person in history who had a breathalyzer to go on a merry go round Grandma is going to fall off this thing. There's Nana, there's Val, there's Grandma. There they are. Okay, I'll, get, I'll get Nana and Val once. Now I'll get Mom coming around this time. Mom Z, that is. Oh, Eric is there too. Okay, here she is. Alright. Alright, now here comes, uh, I'll get Kurt, Erica, and Val. Oh, Valerie's right there. Turn the camera off! Now you start. Let me start the camera. What do you mean, start the camera? Camera's working. Hey, is the red? Is, is the red light on? I gotta check this again. You know, so the light comes out. Yeah, the red light's on. I can see it. It's right there. Eric is fading fast. Oh, okay. Oops, we lost them. Oh, no, that's not where they are. There they are. Hey, Peter, you said this is going to be the vacation from hell. First day it was. This day, amazing what a little vino will do to our group. Viva la France. Now I got to go help Mom. Help Grandma off my paper. <laughs> I've been called the son of a bitch. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> okay. Valerie, Valerie, help Grandma get up before she kills herself. No, no, get off, get help. Help Grandma get up. <laughs> I've been called the son of a bitch by my own mother. Can you believe it? <laughs> Valerie, Valerie. <laughs> Hey, Ma. I know it's running. Yeah. Listen, come here. You know what you call me? Now, this is my own mother calling me a son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's think about that. Let's think about that, Ma. My own mother's calling me a son of a bitch. Almost 11 o'clock at night, waiting for the train back to Massey Palazzo. All right, and they have a double-decker train. As you can see, two decks. Pretty interesting. Pretty clean, too. Here we are. Having a picnic. June 28th, about 2 o'clock. I just came in from Paris. It's 
Tuesday and we are about five miles from well it's a golf course on Omaha Beach and we're about five miles from there we have a little picnic here fed seven people for about ten dollars which is pretty cheap uh, uh, Mom and Val are on their own. Hey. Okay, this is the American Cemetery at Omaha Beach. What a, a gorgeous, gorgeous day. cemetery is. Hey, hey, Kurt, Kurt, take your shoes and socks off if you're coming. Okay. I walked. I didn't come this far not to walk on Omaha Beach. You can take your shoes and socks off. Omaha Beach. It's about Terry, your, your shoes are going to get wet. Take them off. If you're coming this way, take them off. Omaha Beach. Up there is the American Cemetery overlooking Omaha Beach. There's the slot right there through which the Americans drove in their first breakthrough. There they come. I guess they did go through it.
Yeah. Oh, I scared mom. Fine. There are wild, wild boars down there. Hey, look at me. There are wild boars. And mom and Erica are going to the puddle, so I threw a rock in it. I started running. Scared the daylight out of me. Oh my god! <laughs> I picked up this rock. I sort of picked something up. So I could drop something, and then all of a sudden I moved. <laughs> she threw a rock in it. She goes, <laughs> Let me see that, hey, Kurt. Let me see how, let me see how far it goes. Let me see your butt, Kurt. Show us your butt. Kurt, show us your butt. Whatever. When his kids see that, he'll, they'll go crazy. June 28th. There's a wild boar down here, and Terry's been scared twice. I thought she went on her butt there for a minute. Walking out of Omaha Beach. Beach, walking up the bluffs. It's all overgrown now. As you can see, it's a nice, sunny, in the 70s, beautiful day. I certainly can't complain about the weather. There's a gun in place right down there.
cemetery is a half a mile long. It's huge. Are there names? Okay, I'm gonna go check out across. There are people walking along the cemetery all the time. Cemetery, right smack in the middle. Over near the monument, heading into the cemetery, and it goes way past that building. Way back there, as you can see, is the monument. This is the chapel I just showed you a minute ago. I'm on the other side of it now, and I'll pan. That's Valerie, yep. Yeah. I'm just painting the whole, this part of the cemetery. What a gorgeous day. The end. This is unbelievable how big this cemetery is. We don't see anything on TV. Just take some close-ups of individuals. I don't know who they are. John McKnight, Kentucky, July 27th. Nick Gillespie, Virginia, June 6th. Henry Parker, New York. Just before the war ended. Theodore Giles. This is the far end of the cemetery. Yeah, I know, it's getting boring. But it's still unbelievable. There they are, just sitting over there. Standing behind the monument, 
beautiful garden of roses. I'll take you closer to the wall. What a day. Mm -hmm. David Stewart. Vermont. Of soldiers who died in the service of their country. Who do, who do not have graves, who were lost in action and never found. This is their wall. They do not have a grave site. I guess this is their grave site. 1,500 lost in action, they say, according to the brochure. Beautiful garden. Yeah, this is the concrete that was blown up and thrown all over the place. Yep, these are these are huge shell holes. Point to Hawk, where the, where the big guns were placed, supposedly, and the American Rangers scaled the cliffs. These holes here are probably battleship shells, huge, huge holes, all over the place. Would not want to have been here at this time. At that, where the supposed big guns were, as I said, these are shell holes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to get some of this point to hawk stuff, right? I, I, that's what I'm gonna do then. These are the cliffs that the. So these are the cliffs the uh, the rangers came up. Unbelievable, huh, Kurt? Point to hook. This is a German bunker. All right. This is the cliffs where a lot of men came up, and a lot of them died. And this is the whole place. And there's craters. And bunkers. And I'll take you on a tour of the bunkers. Here, here I am. In one of the bunkers.
bait the hook. Time to go. Okay. It's 6.13 in the morning, Wednesday, June 29th. This is the last year we're going to see of me. I have to go drop the rental car off at Orly Airport. I have directions. I got to go on about four different highways, none of which are numbered <coughs> or, or, or named. <coughs> when you're on, when they point an arrow towards it. When you're on it, well, you think you're on it. So I got to drop the car off. The directions to drop the car off are step number one, leave the parking garage. How do I leave the parking garage if I'm not in it? So we threw those directions away. Battery couldn't make it in the air. Okay. Then I gotta get it or we get on the C train of the RER, which is like a suburban train. Direction Paris. Get off of Saint Saint Michel. Change to the number four metro. Direction to pink train. Change to the direction Porta de Orleans. I'm going to New Orleans. Okay? Get off at Montpasa Benvenu. Follow signs to the SNFC. S-N-C-F. Gare Montpasse. Now you're in the station. This is when I get to the station that takes us to the fast train. Go up two flights of stairs following Grand Ligne signs. By then you should see the train. Big board with 10 o'clock, Bordeaux, Bourgeois, that's platform. If I get to the airport, I'll be very happy. I don't think I'm going to make it. I want to say, oh, my family, I enjoy being your father. Uh, I'm not going to make it. I'm going by myself. It could be a long, long year. There are three insurance policies. Everybody's well taken care of. Au revoir. C'est la vie. That's like the only one that you don't know where dad is. We're the last time. He's trying to live for your Okay. Pretty big. There's one train. Last train they should board out like at 11 a.m. Good night. I want to go over there and find a second. What's that? Kurt, shut up. What's that? Is that the camera? What's that? Is that the camera? Is that the camera? Is that the we're going about 180 miles an hour.
吗？听啊听啊听啊听啊 ！OK， say hello。We're in, we're in the Bordeaux train station here, where the TGV goes by. As you can be, Bordeaux Saint Jean just came in from Paris. There's a TGV down there. One, we were on something like that. Here we are. Get ready to move our furniture. Beautiful structure. Say Martin. Oh no. Is your meat done, Dre? No. My father was just here. Grape arbor. This is a big this is a big yard. It's bigger than ours. They're staying in the pool right now. Huh? They're staying in the pool. Well, see some of the bottles. Yeah, see where they're dead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of grow. Probably a little bit of grow. Probably a little This is their oh, very pretty living room. Very nice. Must be poem. So then they had a, half the time you would find Anthony on top of our car. No, uh, uh, Martin? Martin? No, it's not on. Tell him it's not on. No, no, make, make funny face. <laughs> Martin? Fleur. Okay. You never see dad play with a dog. Never plays with Sam. Sammy. What is he doing? He's dope. He's dope dope. Big yard. Ooh. I love these old fashioned houses. <laughs> yeah. It looks like such a dark. That's okay. See Val's school. This is Valerie's school. This is like a conference room, I guess you'd call it, right? That's one of Jock and Gail's friends. That painting right there. Is that okay? That's one of his friends? Mm -hmm. This is a place where you meet your teachers. It's like a conference room. Confidential files there, Val. What's that? Oh, yeah. The buildings are part of the school.
Primary School in Bordeaux, Lycée, Lycée, Michel Montaigne. Doing the after high school studies, the math soup kids? Oh. Do you think that they overnight kids who are trying to get into the engineering schools? And we have a thousand of those kids trying to get into the engineering schools. If you don't live in Bordeaux, you live, you live here. That's why we have kids like from Ivory Coast that live here. They tried to like knock over. So this is the gate they tried to knock over when the students demonstrated against what? Against the... Do they really need an excuse? No, but they were demonstrating against the, the job cuts and whatever. It was like, it was like Edward Balladier's program for jobs and this and that. That would affect them. Oh. Get the set open. Oh, let's go back. So tell me, did, did you pass math? Even though you weren't studying it? Wait, wait, what's this cathedral? No. Oh, is this the one you talked about one time, walking away up the top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bordeaux. I've been doing it. She's got it taken. That's Marie. Marie! Valerie, tell her I have her on camera. That's good. What is everybody talking about? Miss Kurt, the second twin. Exactly away. <laughs> so they don't even know what they're talking about. There's poem, video camera, my then, is Kurt.
Where's Valerie? Let's get him. Uh, what? I'm to Valerie. Oh. I got an idea, guys. Get dizzy and try to dive in, okay? Uh. What's the matter? Well, we started out on day one. The traffic going to Billy's house was very severe. Heavy. 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 And coming back was bumper to bumper to the airport. Correct. We get to the airport, and there was this huge line, probably 50, me 50 meters long, heading into a, a two from each side, heading into double doors where they were checking us in. Many, 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 many bags of luggage each one had. Right. And, and we, we, we were three hours ahead of time. And still, it to took us an hour to check in. Hour and a half, hour and a half to check in. Yes. Yes. Now, get on the plane. The plane was two hours late coming out of New York. And the pilot got on the plane and said, I have no good reason why, why we're late. late. He says, I don't know why the plane is late. We were here. He said we were here on time. And we don't know why the plane was late. So. Okay. Oh, okay. We should get up and go. Hey, okay. Oh, then there was the guy on the line. On the line, who was screaming. Yeah, he was Harry, having a fit this. because people were coming, get, jumping out of their cars and, and cabs, and, and just jumping into the lines. The guy from Greece behind us, funny. Bill from Greece. Bill from Greece. Bill from Greece. Starts yeah. getting really mad, and his wife is going <laughs> in Greek. And he walks up to the line and says, "What are you doing?" He starts yelling at people and, and having get a security, fit. Security, get security. Security. Okay. So now, people got the point here. Now, two hours later, six hours later, we're in Paris. <laughs> we're in Orly. What happened? It, it isn't on. It's not on. Why is it on? This it is. Yes, it is. It's green. Um, they're going to give their version of what happened the first day, which I think I'm going to bomb on this tape. It's going to be really boring. I'll be fast-forwarding through this, but that, I think, is going to start. What happened the first day you got here? The light is off. It's, but it's, it's paping, Dad. It's just that it's not working. The green's not on either. The green has to no, be on. Push the button. I heard a noise, and you're taping right now. I guarantee it. So, so push, start. Push the thing out a little bit. Push what thing? I heard the same okay, noise. Okay, we're, we're at Orly. I heard the same we're noise. At Orly, pick up our bags. No problem picking up our bags. Now we have to get to the. We're looking for the car rental place. No one tells us that the main name on this thing <laughs> is the agent, and we got to go. And they they send you to different other like Hertz, Avis. So we didn't know that. So I asked two people with uniforms on, neither one could speak much English. They sent us to the other terminal, the Western Terminal. Guy comes along, wants about, what, $40 to take our bag. I said, baloney. Okay? So we finally go over to the Western Terminal. We finally get over to the Western Terminal, and we, get, we finally figure out, someone tells us that this, that we have to go to a place called Eurocar, which is, not, which is on the, which is barely visible. So we go to the desk, she gives us the paperwork, no problem. I go to the garage, five passenger car. It says seven passengers, she gives us five. So I said, the file says, that's all I got. Uh -huh. I, said, I said, I don't want it. Now, I go back, I don't, I don't do it. I go back to the desk and I say, I, I want my slip to tear up. She suddenly finds a seven passenger van. Uh -huh. Okay, so we find Very a seven convenient. passenger van with 40 cubic feet of space. Some supposedly, space. no uh, 40 uh, cubic feet. Uh, uh, we finally get in the van. Where is this, this is maybe an hour later, or who knows how long. Now we're trying to get out of the airport. We, we There's no space for the luggage. There's no space for the luggage. We're all, we got all luggage on our laps. We're trying to get out of the, we're, we're trying to get out of the airport. Uh -huh, we're going yeah. round and round and round. <laughs> the signs are all in French. <laughs> because luggage piles. So that's when we went to bring it back. We're going, no. We went out. We got out of the airport fine, but when yeah, we came to bring it back, we're in the first hotel. 
and we then when we came to bring it back, because we're like, let me take the car back to take taxis. Yeah. We couldn't right. bring it back. So we just we went round and around. Oh, yeah. Round and around. And we, and we finally, we said, go, go to that way. And this one's going this way. You go to the left. You have the wrong way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You have No, we get to the first hotel. Which we got directions from the rental desk. She says, we told her no, in Novotel, Mali passes Palazzo, she used to give us directions, we get to a Novotel, it's not the right one. The hotel, but not the right city. So, so now, we're, now we get directions from the other hotel, so we're totally lost. So we say, the hell with it, we're going back to the airport and dumping the stupid car to get a taxi to the thing. So as we're going to the airport, we can't find the ramp to go down into the rental agency. We don't know that location de voiture means rental car. Swing it over to me. Nana's in the front seat. We are all in the back. Uh, and with the, the we're coming to a for this <laughs> this exit exit ramp entrance exit. All of a sudden, Nana says, "That way." <laughs> so Freddie turns left. He goes down into the parking garage. Continue. Get into the parking garage. We realize we made a mistake. I said, "Okay, we'll leave the parking garage." I, I you know, usually there's a coin or something. So we, we go up to the the gate to leave. There's a gate over it, like you know, like at a we terminal. Pay. We pay. We can't figure out how to get in the parking garage. We stuck our card in that we got at the gate when we entered. So I stick my car a card in again if they're gonna tell me how much to pay. I put some coins in. No, this doesn't happen. So Freddie gets out of the car in a very narrow space, squeeze out. I get a fiddle laugh and I have to get out of the car and ask the person and on the I'm other side. I'm hollering, pull down, pull down, pull down <laughs> over this way. Hold it. I finally go to this cop that's standing there next to us, so this attendant, and I finally tell him we're lost. I didn't know that what lost now I know means Purdue, right? <laughs> Purdue chicken. Love Purdue the accent. Purdue chicken. Great accent. Purdue. Lost. So we finally get out. So, so I put a hundred franc, which is about 20 bucks, in, in a machine, and it gives me 10 franc coins. Now, I didn't know that these were coins because they look like subway tokens. And I've been profiting. He's giving me all his coins. His right, tokens. So she says, I'll take your subway tokens. Except they're not tokens, they're 10 francs, they're two bucks a piece, these 10 coins. And she's been collecting these things like a squirrel. So now we finally get to the <laughs> other hotel. <laughs> still worth. Three hours out of the airport. Finally get to the other hotel, and that's that. Now, we, we, the next day we're in Paris, beautiful city. If I was going to live in a, if I was going to live in a city, Paris would be it. Because it's, got, it's clean, it's got nice subways, you feel safe. Great transportation system, beautiful city, uh, lots of food, wonderful place to live. It's the best place to live. You go to the city, live in Paris, in Paris. Unfortunately, getting back to Paris is a problem. We went to Normandy, which was a nice day. Coming back in, no problem. We left our hotel, went to Normandy three hours later. Three hours back, we come back. We get lost coming back to Normandy. We don't know where the signs aren't, aren't very good. We are lost in Paris. Eiffel Tower on the left, Eiffel Tower on the right, Eiffel Tower on the left, Eiffel Tower straight, Eiffel Tower ahead. We see Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower. We don't know where we're going. Two hours lost in Paris. By now it's 10.30 at night and the sun is going to shine. 10.30 at night and the sun is going to shine. Now the lights are coming on. Gorgeous city. We're lost. I mean, and the people in Paris drive like me. So we're lost among me. <laughs> that was and, funny. And we finally went back to the hotel about 1 a.m., about midnight, 1 a.m. And I get up the next morning, and that's on the other tape. First of all, tell them Grandma opened the bar or was closed. I made them open the bar because we all wanted a drink. <laughs> so the bar, yeah. was Grandma was drinking. Well, yeah. Nana wants to say something. Huh. Tell them about still the first day. Trying oh. to find the hotel, we turned first, into the... First day of, of, the, of the hotel, we finally had gone down back to the... Airport, and then we decided we're going to go try and find that Novotel. As we were driving, we see a sign Novotel, and we say, "Go in there." So he drives through. There's another parking lot. So it's a dead end. Dead end. It's no bigger than a pool. <laughs> no, we, we go run. into the first parking lot, like come a garbage back stuff. around again, oh, yeah, and come out, and then we see the sign again. I said, "Oh, there it yeah, is." Yep. And then we go. It was nothing. It was just a dead end. A dead, dead end. end is like a garbage dump. The sign goes Novotel this way. We go that way, and we walk into a stone wall. Full of junk cars. Full of junk Full cars. Full of junk cars. Said, this is ridiculous. Awesome. So and there's the sign, and there we go, and it's gone. I mean, we're we're, we're dead. And, and so we finally find, we get to, we get to where it says Mali Pazzo, Nova says Novotel, also says Novotel. So we follow the sign, the sign, next sign, no more Novotel. They change color on us, the signs, right? They no, they're white. It used to be blue and white, now it's white. And then they went to a white one. 
Well, we finally went around Maui, this, uh, this town, for a few oh minutes. Finally found the Northern town. But this time, I think if my father was with us, he would have we would have him back on the first hike in New York. <laughs> he would have said, I told you I don't go to a country where they don't understand me. I don't understand them. It's took the hell out of here, Patsy. Well, <laughs> that's that, what he would have said. Get the hell out of here, Patsy. We had a wonderful <laughs> time. Know? All right. Okay, Here we are in a lovely backyard, by the way. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's Lovely bones. Lovely bones. You take I've, I've, I've already taped this right. Here, Hello, the so pulse. We 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 we
Eric and the Kurt are over there. And uh, Jeanette and Terry and Val are right there. Right here, little cafe. The medieval cafe. As you can see, we're here in a nice little quaint town, nice cobblestone streets. In the middle of wine country. And yes, right in the middle of wine country. Nice cobblestone streets. And here we are in the cafe. Okay. Here we are, almost got hit. Kurt almost got taken out. Quaint little French streets. And the little wine country. Lines. There go the troopers up to the chateau. Because Valerie has got to walk on the wall. And wine country. Saint Emilion. Saint, Saint Emilion. There's the vineyard and the countryside and the, I mean the square down below. The, the cafes. Fred just bought nine bottles of wine. <laughs> and we're only we got nine bottles of wine? Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly nine. Some of the families, but... Let's drink it before they even Hello. get out of the country. No, Carrie, some Bethany, of them are going to the families. Get the roof here of this church. There's what church? Ch Hands the roof of this church here. Yeah. Right oh, there? The, church the yeah. flag on top of it? No, no, the church right here. Oh, that. No, come down. Come, come down. down. There's a, I don't know what that is, a fort? Oh, it's like all grass and moss growing on the roof yeah, of this church. Yeah, Look at yeah. it here. Yeah. Right down by the square here. There's a church. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay I got it. Right there? Right up the roof there. That roof. Starts the roof oh. right there. That roof there. Okay. Right there? Is that it? Is that it off or on? It's off. Right? And, uh, right there. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. Now look at the flowers in this little windows of the house here. Get them. Okay. Do we have to walk down to that square? I think that's what she wants us to do is walk down to the square. Okay? So nice All right, you can turn it off. It's the heart of the city. This place is not the heart of the city. It's 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 the heart of the city. We're down at the bottom now. How could you up there? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, something's wrong with the camera. Come on, camera. Oh, yeah. 
have a dungeon or something over there. And I don't think that was up that was up before like some bomb hit it. Okay, and this thing is driving me crazy because it keeps blinking. Of course. It's kinda like repeat. Is, is this thing moving? Because I don't see the green. Can you see the tape moving? Tape's moving. Oh, so this is the, uh, oh yeah, this is the, uh, catacom the way down. What are you doing? The way down. The way down. See the green thing now? Yeah, barely, yeah. This is the way we came down to the square here. How the people are having. God knows how we're going to get up. The old church. It looks like the old church. Oh, that's what it is. The old church. Catacombs and everything else. Les vignobles Aubert, qui dispose d'une très belle salle pour séminaire, organise tous les jours, en juillet et en août, une exposition de peinture avec visite de caves et dégustation. To your right, a front view of the city, with its church tower built on top of the underground church, the largest one in Europe. It is 11 meters high, 20 meters wide, and 38 meters deep. Further on rises the King's Tower, from whose top the Jouvain proclaims the Grand des Vendants every year in September. Behold, it is a movie mostly composed of Meru, giving powerful, rich, tannic wine which can keep a long time, and vinified according to traditional methods. The chateau can be visited every day, and tastings are organized, as is a direct say to visitors. notamment une cave creusée dans la colline calcaire. La culture de la vigne et les vinifications restent traditionnelles. Visite sur rendez-vous. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I can't find 
Nice, it's in the 70s, probably 80s. Sur les hauteurs, le célèbre château Ozone avec son toit pointu en ardoise. On top of the hill stands the famous Château Ozone with its pointed slate roof. Up there, Cette propriété de cet hectare, orienté est-sud-est, produit des vins très recherchés dans le monde entier qui sont vinifiés. Recouverte de vignes vierges, la gaffelière, peignée de cru glacé, est l'une des plus anciennes propriétés viticoles datant du IIIe siècle. It's now, you got it, 8.27 at night. We're looking, we're looking for a nice place to eat. This is a nice square. All these side streets. We got tables here. We got straight this way. Oh, we, we were, I, I gave three. Cafes. Okay. So we're going to sit, we're gonna sit in this little cafe area, have dinner. Everybody's agreeable. I sent Kurt, he wasn't too agreeable, but what? Huh? Is that it? Really? Is the guy sitting on? Put your foot on the side of the end of your plate, transfer this over to there, then you eat what you just cut. Or you can do like the Europeans. I got it. <laughs> this 
came out of his garage. This whole street is full of uh, people dying. And he's coming out. He's going to back right out of here and go someplace. You were checked out. Cars are just like bicycles or anything else. They just back right out. to have an American breakfast, but I think it's turned half French. Uh, we're eating chocolate cake and wine and eggs and toast and French toast and bacon and ham and uh, omelets and bread and whatever else is good. This is dad drinking wine at breakfast. And he's afraid that I'm going to show it to everyone at school. We will. Yeah, uh, Grandma, <laughs> make it a point. Yes, he is ringing the line. We're going to have to destroy this tape. No way. Yeah, we can destroy this tape. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you're The two things that I had to go through. Oh, my God. Erica. Erica. I want the sand doing the arcachon. Arcachon. Here we are, Akashon, July 2nd. Here come the grandmothers. They're not, they're not going up this thing. The grandmas are way down there. And we're way up here. We're not at the top. As you can see, we're not even at the top yet. This is quite a view. So now we're going to go up to the top, take our shoes off. Stairs are over there. way over there. This is the sand dune. Look at this thing. I hope we can get a death perception here. There's a boy, actually he's almost a, a man. No, it's two There's two people. and breezy, windy but nice and warm, actually pleasant. Hello. There's a lot of people speaking Spanish. Partially down the beach. You want to go, you know, you can go down to the water. Sure you can. Sure, if you go down, you got to come out all the way back up though. Well, yeah, it's true. This is a big 
sand to it. Yep. They're big. Jeez. <laughs> we'll have to get some videos going down the other side on the sand, huh? You know what we do? You get me going down and then go halfway and then I'll go the other halfway and get the rest okay. of you coming down. You know? Let me explain this to you. That over there and this over there enters into a bay. All that over there is called the Bay of Arcachon. That's in Arcachon. And the city direction is over there. Uh -huh. To get to the other side, you have to drive all the way around the bay, which would take about an hour. Oh. To get over there. And that's where the surfers go. That's the Cap Ferret. Ah. Ferret, it's a cap. It's a cape. So there's, a, there's a, a huge like, sand thing over there as well. The surfers go surfing. Oh, I see. There's a lot of big waves. Here we're protected by the... By the uh, Natural sand barrier out there. Barrier out there. So we don't get big waves. Yeah. But, uh... Atlantic. That's the Atlantic out there, huh? Now we're facing, are we facing directly west? Pretty much. Sounds like peepers, can you hear them? Good. They sound like peepers. You know, the things we have back in Vermont, the little frogs. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, this is a nice place. Take a picture of me my camera. Huh? Okay, we're here on the sand dune. It's Mount Erica. It's Mount erupting. Erica. Erupting. <laughs> Mount Erica is erupting, and, and uh, Godzilla is trying to keep it from sowing. <laughs> we love him so much, huh? A, a, a giant bird comes along. He's going to go get a toe. Erica is going to be toeless. Of course, we have no. Let's see, what time is it now? It's now, oh, let's see. Oh, there it is. 225, which is approximately, the same thing if you think about it, 225 in the afternoon, right? It's only it's only 825 in the morning in, in Vermont. That's why I was surprised at my We've already had a full day. In fact, we get up at 9 o'clock, which is 3 a.m. this morning, and it doesn't feel like 3 a.m. I did that for the first, like, two weeks, but I don't do that anymore. What? What time is it in Vermont? You didn't? Uh, how quickly should you go? You mean, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't uh, We have no idea where Kurt is. Yeah, he could be. Everybody's sitting around here just getting their feet. I have my feet buried over there. Nice day in the 70s. July 2nd, Saturday. They come. No, no. They're right down. This is some sand dune. 